cold showers seem to be all the rage these days, and maybe it's because so many people are reaping the science-backed benefits of plucking up a little courage and taking a daily cold shower. Benefits like reduced stress, increased alertness, increased willpower, weight loss stimulation, accelerated muscle recovery, improved skin and hair quality, improved immunity, improved circulation, and a boost in your emotional well-being. But how long should your cold showers be? What's up, Conscious Creators? I'm Alex, and on this channel, we talk about conscious personal growth and deepening our awareness so we can create more of what we want in our lives and have a positive impact on the world. So let's get straight to it and answer this question, how long should a cold shower be? Now, I believe I have a little insight on this because I've been taking cold showers almost daily for a few years now, and I was introduced to the practice through Wim Hof, the Dutch Iceman, who I think we can safely say is a leading authority on cold exposure. So about three years ago, I did the Wim Hof Method 10-week course, which I highly recommend, by the way. And I was influenced by what I learned there, starting at around 30 seconds and then working my way up over the course of four or five weeks to cold showers that were 10 minutes long. Now, Bear in mind, on that course, there's the integration of breathing exercises and yoga, which combine with cold showers in order to make it easier and reap the other benefits of the method as a whole. But for anyone who is just starting cold showers and hasn't practiced via Wim Hof, I would still personally recommend starting off with shorter cold showers, maybe 30 seconds to a minute, and then gradually ramping up the length over time, over the course of several days and weeks. However, once you're properly into them, it is personal preference based on what your goals are and your daily circumstance. And once you're into them properly, and you know how cold showers of differing lengths feel, you can use your intuition to feel out what you really need and want on a particular day. But there's just a few things to take into consideration. So the first thing is most people find that cold showers feel the most oppressive in about the first 30 seconds to a minute. And that over the time, over the course of several minutes, the cold feels, well, less cold. And if you've mastered certain pranayama breathing techniques like the one taught by Wim Hof, after several minutes, it can even feel like room temperature. So be aware of these things as you lean into this, that as soon as you progress to cold showers that are at least a few minutes long, it's usually going to feel easier. And it's going to be the first 30 seconds to a minute that feels the most challenging. And then after that, things will begin to calm down. So based on that, I would say the average time to take a cold shower would be at least a few minutes. I uh, personally wouldn't recommend consistently taking ones that are, you know, just say 10 seconds long. But maybe at times where you just need a quick pick me up, a 30 second or one minute blast might be all you need. However, many people do find it beneficial once they've worked up to it to take regular longer cold showers that are seven to 10 minutes long. And that cold showers that long really do reap the most benefits and have you coming out feeling like Superman. So if you take cold showers, let us know in the comments below how long you take them for. And if you don't take cold showers, drop us a comment below and let us know why you're such a wimp. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. You're not a wimp for not taking cold showers. You might, this might be the first time you've heard of them or they might not be for you right now. Or you might just need a little encouragement from those who have experienced the benefits of cold showers. So if you wanna find out how to make it easier, watch my video, how to take a cold shower properly, which will pop up on the end screen. But with that being said, like this video if you liked it. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notifications bell so you don't miss out on any new videos helping you with conscious personal growth.